Hi, this is your math professor, Barbara Rademacher, and we're going to play with functions. Here we are in homework four. We're going to evaluate the function f of x equals negative 3x plus 9. And we're asked to find f of 2. Well, put the 2 in for the x. So we're going to put it in over here. That's going to be negative 6 plus 9. That'll be positive 3. So f of 2 equals positive 3. Let's see if I'm right. Nice work. OK, this time we're going to use the calculator. f of negative 9 means take negative 9 and put it in for every x. OK. So I'm going to turn on the calculator. I'm going to clear. I'm going to say negative 3 times negative 9 plus 9. Enter. And the answer is 36. Let's see if we're right. Yes, we are. OK, let's check these out now. It's 2, the same thing. 3, the same thing. Ah, this is a little bit different. What makes functions unique is you don't just have to put numbers in for the x. You can put letters in for the x. We know that f of x equals negative 2x plus 2. So f of negative x oops, is going to equal negative 2 parentheses negative x plus 2. I put this negative x in for the positive x right there. Now, what's that going to equal? Negative 2 times negative x is going to be positive 2x plus 2. So I'll hazard a guess. It's 2x plus 2. Let's see if I'm right. Good job. Notice there's no x in the second term, right? So I can't go sticking a negative x in there. OK, let's try this. We've got g of x equals x plus 2. And we're being asked to find g of y plus 17. No problem. All I do is stick this y plus 17 in for x. y plus 19. Let's see if I'm right. Good job. Bravo, Barb. All right, now. So if you remember that you've got f of x equals y. This is the x-coordinate, and whatever you get over here is the y-coordinate when you're dealing with numbers. Um, look at this. Notice that you've got three points here, and you're being asked to find f of negative 1. That's the x-coordinate. So what you're being asked is, what's the y-coordinate? When x is negative 1, what's the y-coordinate? Look at the points. That's the only x equals negative 1, and neg uh, the x-coordinate is negative 1, the y-coordinate is negative 1. So when, f, when x equals negative 1, y equals negative 1. All 
All right, same thing here. F of negative 3. There's your negative 3 in the x coordinate position. Now, this doesn't count. That's the y coordinate. We need an x coordinate, whatever's in the parentheses is an x coordinate. And this is a way of saying, well, if I've got the x coordinate negative 3, what's the y coordinate? It's 5. Whoop, whoop. There. Mapping. I like mapping. All right, if x is 5, there it is. What is y? Negative 8. Splendid. Hey, if x is 0, what's y? If x is 0, y is 5. These are like a game. And see how fast you can go through them. I really like these. Remember, that's the x-coordinate. When the x-coordinate is negative 2, what is y? I need a bigger graph. When x is negative 2, it looks to me like y is at negative 1. Oops, okay, okay, I'll close it. What else could it be but fantastic? Oh no, oh dear. Okay, notice you've got, we've got to find the domain. Clearly, the farthest left x coordinate coordinate is negative 5, and the farthest right x coordinate is positive 1. But notice that you have open holes there. That means that x can get really close to negative 5, and x can get really close to 1. But it's not going to equal negative 5 or 1, because whoever drew the graph decided to do it this way. So instead of using brackets, we'll use parentheses right here. OK, what is the set of all the x values such that f of x equals negative 1? What they're saying is, OK, I'm looking for the point where y is negative 1, and then you tell me what x is. OK. So let's look on this graph for where uh, y is negative 1. Well, then x is negative 2. Splendid. Up ah, there we go again. Choose the correct range. Well, that's the lowest y value to the highest y value. And this goes down to negative 3 and up to positive 1. So clearly, this is the only point. But it's important that because of these open circles, you're going to have to use parentheses. OK. I will leave the rest of these up to you. Here's another one of those that I've always thought of as being just a little bit backwards. If y is 1, what is x? This says, for what value of x is f of x equal to 1? Well, remember, f of x is y. So this number is going to be y. If y is 1, what is x? It's 4. Ah, here we go again. For what value of x is f of x equals negative 2? Where is y negative 2? Here's negative 2. The point where y is negative 2 has an x coordinate also of negative 2.
Okay, now we're going to talk about, actually, we're going to quit now and uh, come back. I'll talk to you in a few minutes.